What's that supposed to mean? Well, hello, boys. Elric shot his gaze straight toward the sound of that voice. It can't be, he thought, baffled at the sight of her. Sure enough, leaning on the opposite wall, grinning ear to ear. She had the posture of a carved statue, the gaze of a lion. Elric could swear she could command the skies and read minds, any sort of witchcraft. Those stiff, elegant eyes could hide anything. And no matter how many times he warned Philip, he just did not care one bit. Elric watched with absolute disdain as they embraced in the middle of the hall, like two sloppy, drunk lovers. Glad you came, Philip whispered. Well, 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 if it isn't Jacqueline. Elric rolled his eyes and sauntered over. She pulled away from her kiss and eyed him up and down, smiling politely. Why, hello there, Elric. Her voice sounded so delicate in contrast to her rough personality. Why Philip kept her around was an absolute mystery. All right, you two focus, Philip tried, but to no avail. Why is she here again? Elric glared at the two of them. She ruins everything. Jacqueline only laughed, less nervously than Philip. Come on, Rick. He placed one arm over each of their shoulders, drawing Jacqueline much closer to Elric than either of them would have liked. We need her this time, Philip pleaded. Oh, yeah, sure not like last time when she got us an appointment in the stocks. Oh, that was so your fault. Jacqueline was glaring too now. The bickering was, thankfully, cut short. As soon as the first arrow plinked to the floor, they all took off at a sprint. Ducking into rooms and corridors they didn't even know existed. Dizzy from running and baffled by the maze of rooms, all washed in tapestry and the most luxurious furniture. A particularly large raised bed came quite in handy when they all squeezed beneath it. Guards raced right on past, completely clueless, as was the case most often. So, what now? Jacqueline breathed uncomfortably, shifting in the tight space. Wouldn't you like to know? Elric muttered under his breath. Philip cleared his throat, whispering. Ladies, ladies, you're both beautiful. Philip was met by a kiss on the cheek and a punch on the shoulder, as they scrambled out from their claustrophobic shelter. They stared down the long, daunting hall. Empty. Deserted. Only for a few seconds, but it seemed they were all thinking the same thing. As they turned to each other grinning, and turning back to the room at the end of the great hall, glowing from within. Going out with a flourish? Jacqueline cracked her neck. As always, Philip winked at Elric.